yeah hi good evening all so today i am going to talk about the query folding in power bi so welcome back sri krishna soft skills okay so today agenda is so what is query folding and how it will work in m language in power bi okay yeah let's get started before going to that what is query folding okay is some data source the some relational database and some non relational database this database load into power bi engine is able to convert into m language the data source understanding is called as the query folding i think it little bit difficult so once we see the one example then you may understand better okay yeah i am going to load i'm going to load power bi okay so i open my power bi so when i loading here now i'm taking at the sql server okay this is the sql server now i'm connecting to the databases so when you connect the databases only the query folding will be on okay yeah now just i will i will show you in power query editor how it will work so my server name is dart okay so i will select the tables from the database because of we have three databases so that is the reason i did not select that one now i am going to 2012 database from this database i will select the so it will it will take little bit time okay so because of this is the that is the performance issue some when you connect the sql so this type of performance issues so your interviewer may ask also so when you connecting the databases a sql server into your power bi engine so it has taken some time so that time then what you have to do okay this type of question also you may get okay then we will discuss little bit after this class or In the next video, then we will discuss. Okay, now you just open. So now I selected the dim date table and the okay. This one table uh, is it enough? Okay, then I'm going to transform. You see, so when I connected the SQL Server is one of the database. Okay, in the database one table I selected. Here you see, this is. This is the data table. Already you know. This is the query. Okay, whatever you query run, then here in the table. Okay, now you see here the right side of the corner. This is the applied steps. Whatever you transformation then here in this our query, then all the steps will here. Okay, in the applied steps. Okay, then we may see. So now I am going to. Uh, change the now i am going to this date column so date only date okay now you see this is i am removing this column okay see this is the two steps two transformations i have done you may see here now you may how many applied steps here these are the four steps so first step is the source step okay this is as usually second step with the navigation okay and third step so just now we have done here the name has changed okay the renamed column this is the renamed column the fourth one is the removed column okay now i have removed one column na so that is the reason here come so these steps here applied so you may go and see here this is the m language this is the what is this is the m language here so what are the transformations you have done here the power bi engine the m query has written in built so it has written the back end so it executed one query here this is like m language okay when you connected the sql okay when you connected the sql whatever the transformations you have done here okay then you see so where will see the query folding where will see the this query being folded how you do where we do 
holding. So now you go to here. Okay, then we have the four steps. The first step, the renamed column. Then here, go to right click here. Then you see the, now you see this is the enabled now. So this is the view query enabled now. Okay, yeah, now you click on right click. Again, I'm telling you, right click and new query. You see the, what are the steps? Okay, you observe here. What are the steps? For example, first step. So what I have, I have done so the date key you see the date key has changed to the date you see here the date okay so this is holding this the renamed column okay this is the step the sql query has written the back end this is called as the query folding okay i think i hope you understand now better Okay, the same. Okay, yeah, now the close this one. I'm going, I'm going to, there is, yeah, now I'm going to second one, second step. Okay, this is the removed column. So here there is no column here. Then you right click on this and go to the view native query. Here you see the first one is the date key has changed to the date. Okay. This is first step as done. Second step, you you may not be see here. Which one is the, the column already we have removed. Okay, that is the reason the second column we do not see here. So the step has already written here. That is the reason the query folding, whatever steps you have done. So it has written in a back end. You see, this is a negative query on when you connected with the SQL, any database, either SQL, either Oracle database, either say Sapiana, whatever database you will take, this, this will increase the performance of the Power Query Editor. The Power BI take care of it, okay? If the physical, whatever the transformation here, that taking care of when you connected with the SQL. So here, the query folding, that is called as a query folding, okay? In the next step, the some real-time scenarios, how it will work exactly the query folding, where we on the query folding, although then we will learn in the next video. Okay. And also, if I connected, for example, if you connected a normal Excel file or the CSV file, so it will show like that or how it will work. Then we will see the next video. Hope you like this video. Please like it and share it. And if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe channel. Till then, keep learning. So, bye. So, signing up. Thank you.